Welcome back, folks. We're back on Tony Baloney, the Stalker. We're going to be doing Kolya's quest line, which rewards you with the Seer's Abakin here. So 545 and the 545 platforms in this game are kind of not really that great. But if you do this quest early on enough, it, you may get some use out of it. But he's sitting over here in the southwestern corner on the bottom near the bandit side. And once you get close to him, the quest pops up. He doesn't originally have a quest marker above his head. You have to walk up to him and that triggers the quest to be available. So without further ado, let's get this going. Now, just walking over here near Kolya Salamiski will start this quest when you get close to him, the interesting story quest. So go ahead and snag that. I love a good yarn, go on. What did he do in those days? What happened next? What happened to Seer? What happened to him after that? So he set off searching. So do you think he got what he wanted so badly? And that completes an interesting story. And then you ask him, what if Seer really exists? So there isn't a single person who might know where Seer is now. Not that I'm interested, but if there's a chance, I'd like to see the, if the yarn is true. Where can I find this digger? You think he went missing there? And thanks for the lead. And that gives us the quest last lead. That's gonna take us up to the fool's path to find the missing digger, which is over by the bandit area. So, but I'll see you guys once we make it up there. All right. We are in the Fool's Path. We're trying to get over to where the digger is for the Kolya quest on the Stalker. I died over here a second ago, as you can see. I know where is that. I just got to get in here without getting seen. All right. He's going to be in the far northeastern side of this thing. Once you come to this area with the little tents and the barrels and such, you can climb over this one. And he's going to be back here. Examine the corpse. That ends last lead. And now we get the strange note. Take the note and leave. And now we got to go back to the bar and talk to Kolya. So I'm going to head back that way. And I'll see you guys once we make it back. All right, we're back at the bar. Going to go talk to Kolya again. Dug up some information on the digger. I wanted to share my find with you. This is all that was left of his belongings. I couldn't figure out what it means on my own. But maybe you can show him the note. What makes you say that? And that ends the quest, the strange note. And now you get the quest decoder. Thanks for that. I'll go try to decipher this. I will. And we have to decode the digger's note, which the digger's note says, same place as usual. Don't hurt your hands when you climb. Damn schoolboy. I wonder how such that so like you gets across the perimeter of the base. That's the meeting spot. And this one is going to be down in the dump. So I'm going to head over to the dump and I will see you guys once we make it all the way down there. All right. So for the stalkers, basically it's going to be in the same building as where you meet Oracle and Condor. But instead of going inside, you're going to jump to a ladder on the outside and climb up. So once I get over here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so you're going to go to the north side of the building. Right here. And there's going to be a ladder that you can charge jump up to. You're going to climb up to the top. And the stalker that you need to talk to is sitting right here. Just looking for something. And over the note, where is this den? Do you have any guides like that in mind? And that ends decoder, and now you get another dead end. And now we got to go back to the bar yet again and talk to Salaminsky. So I'm going to run all the way back up there, and I'll see you guys here in a minute. All right, we are back at the bar. Going to talk to Kolya again. I've got something. Thanks to the note, I found the diggers informer. He told me some things about Seer. That if I want to meet Seer, I need to head past the radar. He's somewhere there. I know the informer told me it's no use going without a guide. I'm listening. And where is this guide? So that ends another dead end and we get the quest looking for a guide. Thanks. I'll get in touch with you later. And this one's going to take us all the way over to the dead city. So I'm going to head all the way over there. Try not to die to bandits and see you guys here in a second. Now where we're wanting to go is to the bottom side here in this house, which I'm trying to figure out a way to get over there without killing anybody because I'd like to not have to run back six times. All right. So we're at the house. And he's just going to be sitting in this house right here, which is southeast of where the middle of the search bubble is, almost to the exterior, really close to the dead city slash pit transition. Talk to guide. That completes the quest, looking for a guide. And now you get the quest last step. He said, let's get out of the way. Nobody comes here just to shoot the breeze. What do you want? I need to get past the radar. Here, I thought you could only see lemmings in the zoo. Tell me why you need to do that. I want to talk to a certain legendary stalker who was last seen heading past the radar. Is it really that dangerous of a place? I'll be more careful than he was. He said he can take you there, but before I give you your final answer, there's no turning back after we set off. So I agree. Yep. 
wait this is the bar not the radar and the failed guide is complete and now we get answers from kolya and we are way outside here so now we're just gonna run all the way back into the bar talk to kolya again so i'll see you once we get inside all right we're back at the bar going down to talk to kolya what's the meaning of all this what's going on just explain what you mean and that's going to give you the seer's abacan and 2000 repair parts we turn around and talk to him again i don't know he wants us to do one last favor what do i need to do and what's the place and now we get into the depths of the past could you tell me more specifics on the right place all right i'll try to find it and the seer's abacan that you get is Eh, it's not terrible, but it's a 545, and most of the 545 guns in this game are really not that good. But that's what it looks like if you really want to see it. And now we have to go to his old camp, which is all the way back over in the Dead City. So I got to run all the way back up there, and I'll see you guys shortly. All right, so we're back in the Dead City, and we have to go really far into the center. And I'm thinking it's going to be just like the Bandit Quest was, where once you get into the area... There will be a space bubble you can jump in to teleport. So I'm going to try to skirt the outside area as much as possible. Yep, there's a space bubble. I just need to make it in it. Thank God. Once you're in the space bubble, you don't have to worry about anything anymore PvP-wise because you're now in an instance. So we have to examine Kolya's old camp. So the first thing we're going to do is go in the open house here, not the one with the door closed. And we're going to come in, hang a left come over to the right once you've walked through the whole house it'll say examine the second house but what you're going to want to do here is get up here and there's a crate right here on top of the fireplace well i guess you can get it without jumping you can just kind of angle up there and get it but i'm going to jump up there so you can actually see the crate there it is as you open it you see a worn out notebook turn the page and you're just going to keep flipping through this page. It says the neighbors, the Petrovs had a fire last night and only Ivan survived. The house is still smoldering, had to carry everything out that didn't burn up. Despite their efforts to put it out, the fire just got bigger. And then it started spinning in circles. What the hell? There's noise coming from Andre's room. We've checked inside a hundred times, but to no avail, it's empty. I'm starting to think Lena trying to talk to us, but the dead don't talk. It's almost midnight and I just heard Andre shout. I beat down the door, but he wasn't there. Half the room had vanished. Something is pulsing in there like ball lightning. Where is my son? And then you end up getting the Sears notebook. I threw stones at it, but they vanished. I'm leaving the notebook here and walking into it. I can't lose him too. This is the last entry in the notebook. You turn it over and notice a small key tied to the notebook with a string. Take the key and leave. So now we're going to go to the second house. So out the door, straight across. When you walk up to the door, it automatically puts you inside. And examining the second house, there's not much in here that you can do anything with. So you're just going to go straight into the bubble. And that puts you in the dump on top of this building, which is pretty much right next to the digger base. And we just have to go back to the bar now. So I'm going to head all the way back up to the bar and I'll see you here shortly. We're back at the bar talking to Kolya again. I found it still standing. I found both the key and your notebook in the crate. What happened to your son? Why did they dub you Seer? I'm sorry, Kolya. I didn't mean to give him the box, the notebook and the key. And that's going to give you 15,000 rubles. And that ends the quest returning something dear. And that's the end of his quest line. It's essentially the exact same as the bandit, except instead of going to the graveyard, you go to the dead city. So it's just making you go into the other zones, essentially. And then you got the Seer's Abacan from it. But if this video helped you out, go ahead and drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one, and I will catch you in the next one. Y'all take it easy.